Good news for gamers. The proposed tariffs between the United States that were going to be imposed on China have been delayed for now. <laughs> Let's get into it. Yo, peoples, it's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Before we get too deep into this one, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses, I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I'm not too proud to ask, as I stated earlier in the teaser. It's a good, good, good day for gamers for the time being. Why? Because the proposed tariffs that the Trump administration was going to impose on the Chinese government have been delayed for the time being. Now, what am I talking about? Okay, so for those of you that live under a rock, there's been a trade war brewing between the Trump administration and U.S. government against the Chinese government, all right? In response to this trade war, Trump was going to propose a hefty $300 billion tariff against Chinese goods and services, okay? Now, here's the problem. This uh, hefty tariff was going to affect any goods or services made in China, whether it's from an American-born company or not. So therefore, all of these consoles, which 90% of them, I believe, is, is a proper number, is made within China, were going to be affected, and it was going to be a hefty tax in response to any future consoles being sold primarily and that's a big deal because we got a whole new generation around the corner right so in response to that in, a, in response to that major impact it was going to have microsoft sony and nintendo sent joint letters to the trump administration forewarning them of the long-term ramifications of this one through okay now here goes the story talking about this whole new revelation as far as the delay is concerned, and it's told by thegamer.com. All right. So, Trump administration will delay 25% tariff on gaming consoles, at least for the time being. Story reads, those in the video game industry, consumers were given some much needed relief today as the Trump administration seems to be holding off on his proposed 25% tariff that would have affected gaming consoles. Last month saw President Trump's administration propose a hefty $300 billion set of tariffs against China and its back and forth trade war. The article continues to read that this news comes as part of a larger, larger commitment by both parties to resume or even restart trade talks. All right. So here's your boy's thoughts on all this. Again, I'm without me getting too political, just giving you the raw facts. Okay. This is definitely good news for gamers as all gaming across the board was going to suffer. Believe you me, this was not just going to affect consoles. What Fortune 500 companies do is that whenever they occur new costs, new business costs, they spread it about. So everything gets taxed, all right? You can't, and, and, and we've seen this before, like you can't have a set price for hardware medium and then software medium, right? So if this was, if they were gonna apply this tax to like hardware and, 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 and um, software being sold on disk or things like that that may that likely are printed in China or outside of the country as well. I mean, it's a possibility that uh, that was occurring. Then those costs are definitely going to spread to the digital media. You can't have different set prices for both, or the gaming company or the gaming community, rather, is not going to set different prices for both. But regardless of all that, again, any Fortune 500 company. It's going to spread the occurrence of new costs across all products and services. So to make sure that they don't too cripple one business line or the other. So this was going to affect everybody. This is good news. And let's hope that we keep this going to where we can avoid such ramifications, right? And the best way we can do that as gamers without us being seated at the big kids table we still have a voice. That's where groups like ESA, okay, come in to play. The people that conduct the E3s every year. They're a lobbying company for the gaming industry, and we can utilize them to, to, our, to the best of our ability.
contact the ESA to see how you can keep the pressure up on all government entities to help avoid these types of things going through. But again, good news for now. I know there was a lot of concern about this and people were like, oh, how is this going to affect me next generation? With that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in this whole situation in the comment section below. Like I always tell you, you can come with me or come at me. It don't matter to your boy. With that being said, if you did like what you had to hear from this channel, you know what I'm saying? You can catch me on the corner of every boulevard. Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples, Neethals, Snow Bunny, Dirk Griggity. It's called Scram Punks. We run it every Wednesday. Check out hashtag Scram Punks for more information on that. Yo. Follow my brethren, the broadband bullies. We out here doing the damn thing. Check out that Discord link where it's popping. Check out that Patreon link because we need y'all support to keep it rolling, y'all. And check out that gear because it is fly. And last but not least, your boy's doing something special. It's called the NRO, NRO Project. All right. And it's being hosted on the Hard Knock Digital Culture Channel, a.k.a twitch.tv forward slash mighty most 2000 you see it in the ticker below go there sub follow all that good stuff so you are notified when we are doing shows and podcasts and having interviews with people in regards to video games anime martial arts all that stuff man all the greedy stuff we are putting a special spotlight on all of that you don't want to miss it and with that said you guys have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace